what's going on guys average tech guy here and today we are back with more tech more reviews and right here i have my ipad 12.9 and i really want to talk about a hub not just any hub because this hub has been found to me to be one of the most perfect to go along with my ipad as well as my magic keyboard so let's talk about it So first off, I know you can see the hub on the side over here and I have a USB thumb drive. I have a micro USB. I have an SD card slot. I have an adapter right here for my headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter. There's a 60 watt power pass through up here and it supports HDMI 4K output. Now this device is from the company Rayroll. Now there are tons of devices out there on the market that you can pick up in this form factor. But what I want to stress to you guys about this one is the actual usage of it and the price point. Because for most of these, you're going to be paying upwards of 70 and 80 bucks. But this one I was able to find for about 39 bucks. And it does the exact same thing that the rest of them do. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if you turn it to the side and you look at it, you get a USB 3.0 right here. That's the A. You get a micro SD card, SD card slot. So these transfer data up to a five gigabyte per second speed, decent speeds out of this device when it comes to transfer. Then you get the 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter, the 60 watt power pass through. You get an LED right here and you get your HDMI on this side, which supports up to 4K at 60 frames per second. Now looking at this, it's a full metal construct. It has a magnetic attachment. Just in case your device may have a case, you're supposed to be able to get a uh, better fit because making this longer. But I love the fact that you got the magnetic clip right here. It just went on. And then when you get ready, connect it to your iPad and you're gonna get the little symbol right up top letting you know that a hub is connected and then you are ready to go. Moving around with this thing is really simple, really easy. You just fold it down and you're on the go. I probably wouldn't transport it on the go like that. I would just take it off, have it in my hand or in my pocket. Then when I get to where I'm going, let my keyboard out just like so, pop it on, and then I am good to go. Now the SD card slot over here will actually work up to 512 uh, gigabyte cards. So plug those in. We'll just go ahead. So you'll be able to insert these devices and transfer your photos, your videos, and everything that you need back and forth simultaneously as you work. And you will have no issues with them going over from the different file types or different devices. The next thing we actually want to focus in on is the 4K output. Now, as far as the iPad goes, the only way that you're going to get that 4K output is when you plug this thing in and say you want to play a 4K movie. But it has to be a true 4K movie and you have to have a true 4K screen. Then it will actually output at that 4K 60 frame per second and you'll be able to get the best quality out of any of those videos whenever you're watching them. So all in all, this is a great little device. Comes in handy when you're on the go, when you're traveling, when you want to transfer those files really quickly. You can also use your 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter to plug some headphones in. Let's just say you don't have Bluetooth, which most people do have that right now. Or if you don't want to use that Bluetooth and get a more stable connection, plug this in, put your headphones on, and you are good to go. No issues. 60 watt power pass through frees up any of the other slots and still remember if you want to you can still plug in power over here at the bottom of your magic keyboard so you do have that option as well the usb type c port will not transfer data though just keep that in mind so all in all pretty good product i give it a big thumbs up now you're going to be able to pick this up for about 40 bucks so i think it's a really good buy and it's a really good device on a budget just because a lot of the bigger companies sell theirs for about 70 80 bucks but you can get this one for about 40 bucks and i'll drop that link below so you can check it out for yourself so hopefully this has been able to help someone out please be sure and give me a big thumbs up and please continue to subscribe until next time average tech guy out peace